Well, I'm on the phone with head football coach from Ellsworth High School, Dwayne Crawford, doing our coaches show a day late, but not a dollar short. And our <laughs> coaches show brought to you by First National Bank. Coach, uh, congratulations. A nice victory over uh, Washington Academy. And uh, almost, uh, what, how many years ago? Three years ago, two years ago to the date uh, of your first win. Yeah, three, I believe it was. Yeah, it, it's, uh, um, you know, Washington, they've got a great program down there. And, and uh, Barry's a, a class act, and he does a, does a good job with the program. And, and uh, um, you know, it's, it, we knew that going into that they were going to be tough, and we'd watch game film on them, and they got some good athletes. So it was a, it was a shootout at the beginning, but um, uh, I think our athletes were just a little bit better, and they got us through, and so ended up with a win. Nice to have a, a, a bigger uh, complement of players to, to play with. Yeah, yeah. It's. Um, I mean, we 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 we've been building, and I I told the players at the beginning of the year, you know, we'll go as far as you want to take us. It just depends on, on you know, if you can follow follow the game plan, and and we did to an extent Friday night, although we made a ton of mistakes. So those are things we're going to have to clean up this week. So it's homecoming week this weekend. Uh, Friday night, you've got the game against Stearns, and you know, I know that's been a big uh, goal of you to to win on at home homecoming but a football kind of adds out and rounds out all the homecoming activities yeah i i think you know football well before we started football there was no homecoming at ellsworth so football brought that to the high school and and it's been a great addition and you know we have the homecoming dance on saturday and the kids really look forward to that and and the, the friday night game and that's where you know everything pretty much it peaks on friday night and then everyone takes a deep breath on Saturday and goes out and have, has fun Saturday night at the dance. So um, it's, a, it's a great tradition, and, and we're a little late to the party at, at Ellsworth getting it, but now we have it, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So. It doesn't matter if you're late to the party as long as you have a good time at the party, right? That's right, exactly. Uh-huh. exactly. So uh, what did you see from the game film against WA, and what are you working on this week as you get ready to take on Stearns? Well, Stearns, you know, they they played WA and and WA beat them 28-21. It was a tough game and um and and we frankly were one play away from being in a in a dogfight with Washington Academy and maybe even losing that game. We were up 18 to 8 to start the third quarter and they they drove 8 minutes on us and score and and got down to the 1 yard line and and uh we fortunately were able to stop them and then put together a 99 yard drive that that put the game out of reach for them but had they scored on us that would have been the complexion of that game may have changed totally so you know I told the kids that um, you know, we 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 gave uh, uh, gave back three touchdowns on penalties and another hundred yards and and rushing that were given up on either holding calls or blocks in the back or or some penalty that that was called. So, um, you know, we've got to clean that up. And and this game Friday night is going to be the same thing. If if we don't do our jobs, then we're going to be in for a dogfight. And and that's you know that's that's what football is on paper. We probably should beat these guys, but you don't play the game on paper so um they've got to work hard this week and and come out and it's the same the same thing week in and week out we got to set the edge do well in special teams and and uh, uh offensive and defensive lines have to have to play well so if we can put all that together then then good things will happen friday night uh what about the awarding of the game ball who did you give the game ball to you know i didn't um, we had so many good performances, and I told the kids at the end of the game, if I had one for every one of the kids that was out there on the field, I would have given them one. I mean, we had we had Will Morn, who had a fumble recovery off kickoff. We had Javon, who had a scoop and score on a fumble recovery. Um, we had a couple of sacks. We had some good individual performances by both Connor and Javon, and um, some defensive performances by you know Chuck Hughes, and we've got a couple of of new, well, one new defensive end, Hunter Fernald, who's this is his first year playing, and then Nick Taylor, who's been with us for a couple of years, but they they did a pretty good job, and and they're they're still learning, especially Hunter. He's he's new to the sport, but um, you know they're fast and they're physical, and so they they made a big difference out there, and um, so the, the, I could have given the game ball to, to any one of eleven or twelve players, and and I don't have that many, so I, you know, <laughs> the budget's not there for the game. For, <laughs> Since I only got ten to start the season. I can't give out eleven. So, 
Um, so it was just a great, you know, there was a, a lot of really nice performances out there, and, and I think it was a total team win. Our special teams looked looked 100% better than it had previous games, and we covered well and got down the field, and, and uh, so just a lot of nice things that happened. And if we take away the penalties and some of the mistakes, it would have been a it would have been a complete game, but those are those are things that we need to work on. I want to remind everybody too, uh, because it's a home football game, to bring some uh, canned goods or a bag of diapers or some non-perishable items, whether it be toiletries, etc. Because everything's going to the loaves and fishes uh, food bank on Friday night after the game. Yeah, and that's been a great a great tradition that that Coach Hughes started a couple of years ago, and um, so it's we've been. People have been bringing non-perishable items to all the home games, and then he packs them up and takes them up there. So it's a, it's a, it's a great way to give back. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, I'm not going to ask you about the health of the team because <laughs> we don't want to jinx it. But uh, we'll find out more about that on Friday. Okay. Well, thanks, Chris. <laughs> all right. Have a good week, Coach. All right. You too.